guys, Chloe here, Eva's step cousin, and today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you guys. So here are her stairs, it goes right up. So that's really cool. So let's go on up. So as you can see it goes right up. We have some a shelf here. So it's gonna go up and it comes around. Okay guys, and then let's Eva. start. The tutorial. So we have our makeup box, of course. <laughs> These are all mine. Eva will be showing the makeup and I will be trying it on. So these are all my makeups here. There's um, obviously like light in your cheeks, there's blush, there's um, dark in your cheeks, there's everything. Um, there's like eyeshadow. So today we are going to show you how to do a really cool look and it's called the shine. Like basically I called it the star because of what we're going to put on. So basically what we're going to put on first I think is going so what we're going to put on first, I just got corrected, was blush, and we're going to put a pink one on. And today we are using the Eye Blush and Pressed Powder blush. This is a very strong blush, so please don't use too much, one dab. And remember, blush goes on the apples of your cheeks. Yeah. And here it is, it's pumper, so it just presses on. So as you can tell it looks a bit bright. So sometimes like you, you uh you can either brush it in, rub it in with your fingers, or you can do really whatever. And then what we're going to move on to next is there's that. Now what we're going to move on to next is the eyeshadow. And we're going to use a silver one. going to use a nice glittery silver one it's a really like really nice like sort of color and basically what it does is it really brings out the light in your eyes we are topping off the crease with a bare minerals purple this is in the shade vivid and can we see the this one so it's very very dusty would you like to open it Let's see that. This is what you guys are looking at right now. Super shiny, amazing. Amazing. So, what she's going to do is, you don't really need a brush for this. So, what we're going to do is she's just going to dab a little bit on her finger and then just put it on her eyes. Very, very glittery, I must say. So she'll just apply it to her eyes and then they'll come out like really bright and sometimes you can put them at the bottom of your lids, just below the bottom of your lids as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really cool look. Um, like I said, it's called Star because there's a lot of like sparkles and silver and... Um, gold so i think this will work out really well so this is what it's looking like now looks really cool doesn't it you want to add as much as you want on there but just until it looks okay now we're going to move on to the purple crease color. the crease color She's going to use a brush for this one though. And you only need a really tiny, tiny bit for the purple guys. And this purple is going to go in your crease. And remember, you can open your eyes but it will be a bit more difficult. So, um, sometimes it can go 
when you're opening your eyes. Um, and sometimes you can do it when you're closing one of your, your eyes and doing and just looking with the other one. Um, and I might do a. Um, my friend Chloe here might film at one point and I might do some makeup or something. And remember guys, you only need the smallest bit of purple on each eye. And you'll know when it's enough. Trust me, you will know when it's enough. So that's the finishing look. Of the eyes. Of the eyes. Now we're going to go on to some lipstick. It's going to be in a, like, a big box. Um, and it's from chanel a really 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 good makeup shop it's by the hishina shade travel aquarium and you will see all of these beautiful colors in there but today we're going to use this gold one right here and you just start in the middle and, and you then don't you need just too much you don't need too tricky. much you don't really? need too much at all because it will make an overload and people will think why has she got that much glitter on her lips? So yeah, I think that the star look, um, it looks really good. Um, and if you've ever seen uh, something like this before, put in comment down below. And yeah, uh, like this video if you think we should do some more makeup tutorials. So that's the finishing look. It's a very nice look, I must say. And guys, now I'm just going to head over and film, and Eva is going to go a more natural look. This is like a party look, so Eva's going to head straight into a like a more calm down look. So, what I always start with with makeup is um, this right here. It is a actually a lightener. A lightener. And it's contour, um, and they have all three colours. It doesn't actually look like this though. So you have a dark colour, a light colour which I am using now, and a highlight which I am going to use in a second. So what you want to do, I might look a bit weird for this little bit, but basically what you want to do is you want to just do lines and then just rub them in. Especially if you have quite bright cheeks without blush already. And if you're quite pale, we recommend using the number one. And I just like to put them everywhere because I am quite a blushy person. So I get like hot and red very easily. So I just like to calm it down just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the highlight of the contour. It's a very nice colour. Very nice colour. Pinky looking. So you obviously take the lid off and you just put it in these spaces here. So, yes. Well, you can put them here, but I like to put them just there and then just rub it in a bit. And if you're wondering where she's looking, she's looking at this mirror right here. So yeah, that kind of brings out like these part of your cheeks. So yeah, it's a really good um, thing. I don't normally use them on my cheeks. I usually know them where you usually would put them. But um, I just thought maybe I should go for a little change and see how it looks. Next, we're going to use this with it's blush it's by throb you should go check their makeup out yep and i'm using a thick brush so we just take the lid off just dab about two dabs and then just wipe it like sort of in a triangle so you go down and then you go up and then you just go in the middle and then just do two dabs on the other side and if you think oh that's not enough then just keep adding a bit more on Remember guys, as you go. blush is the apples of your cheeks, not where highlighter goes. That ruins the whole look of what to me. So yeah, there's the blush. Um, and it's really good. 
and if you want to you can add eyeshadow I'm going to add a different eyeshadow it's not like a I don't know I don't think it's going to be like a proper eyeshadow but this is the I think that's the silver one but I'm not going to use this that is in color. the shade platinum platinum sorry so you Nine. just hang in there guys while I try and find uh the one so oh, I think this. this is it so it's still kind of silver but if you're going for a natural look I do not recommend the silver at all this is a kind of good colour for natural, it's kind of a peachy pinky colour. It's got little sparkles in it just like the silver one. I would recommend using a brush. A brow don't... brush. Yes. So it's kind of natural but if you don't like using the brush, which I do not like using the brush, I just suggested it because I think it would be much more effective if you use the brush but yeah just spread it out with your finger it doesn't really look your eye doesn't really look that different but it does look a bit it is it has changed so if you're a bright person a i recommend just watching um my tutorial so yeah so there are the eyes and it's a really really good natural color if you don't really like dressing up like um chloe here um so this is just like oh i'm going out to dinner i need to dress up but this is like oh i'm going like out to a competition or like um uh, a show a I'm show going to watch or something the beast. or the cinema if you wear makeup every day or you're actually in the film or something um it's a really good uh way and we might put some lipstick on now so and it's the same palette that i use by yes. chanel but we are not going to be using gold today we're going to be using a different Tail. color today I think, I think we're going to be either using this one or this one so basically what i'm going to do first is i'm going to get this one right here I like calling this one the berry one, but we're not going to use that today. It's a bit bright. And it comes with a little tiny brush that you put your lipstick on with. Terrible now. And then you just rub it in, and if there's like any marks on the edges, you just like rub them off. Now, what we're with of course, Wipes. Or tissue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this one right here. It's like a pink sparkly one. It's a really nice colour. So we'll just get a bit of this and put it on the bottom lip. I mean the bottom lip. And keep going until you see a bit of shine in your lip. So you can see like I've got the tiniest bit of shine so you mix it in and you can see like little tiny sparkles in there but if you want it like bolder then you keep going and going and going until you're happy with it. And if it just isn't working then just use a different colour. Just really. use a different colour. The gold is a good colour but I don't think that's very natural so I would not use that. I'm wearing the gold. And yes, if you want to do anything else, like put your hair up or like wear some clothing, then you can. And then this is the finishing look. Blush, eyeshadow, lipstick and contour. I think they're the best and highlight. I think they're the best things that you could use just for a natural look. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Remember. Bye. Remember. I do videos Saturday, Sunday, maybe Fridays, Mondays and Wednesdays. Bye guys! Bye! Bye guys!